Hey everyone, and welcome to yet another autumn-themed watercolor tutorial. Today we're going to be painting this beautiful autumn-themed wreath. Uh, I'm really into wreaths, as you probably know, so a new season gave me another excuse to paint yet another wreath. So this one is going to be very similar to the ones that I've painted before, if you look back at my other tutorials, but we're going to be obviously using autumn-themed colors, lots of yellows, oranges, browns, and reds. So grab your uh, sketchbook or your watercolor piece of paper, whatever you're using here, and then you also want to grab something round and sketch a very light circle, because that circle will essentially help you keep your wreath in a round shape and you just follow the circle obviously you can deviate away from the circle line but just keep within that uh, circular pattern the uh, supplies that I'm using for today's video and all of my videos as always are linked in the description below if you are interested in investing in some paint brushes or adding to your collection I absolutely love and adore the brushes that I use. I use both, uh, mostly the Grumbacher collection, but I also have some from Windsor and Newton. Uh, so if you want to take a look at those, again, the links are in the description. It will give me some commission if you buy those paintbrushes or any art supplies through my links. Uh, so just keep that in mind. It's at no extra cost to you, but it does help me uh, you know, get something for my videos, which helps me to continue to make these tutorials for you. So for this particular wreath, I'm going for sort of a, a leafy design. Uh, I mean, fall, autumn are associated with a lot of leaves and uh, very beautiful, colorful foliage. So I'm just following a very rough uh, leafy pattern here. It's not really, um, I'm not really following any particular design. I'm just taking wherever my paintbrush takes me, or, or going wherever my paintbrush takes me, making sure to alternate between my yellows, oranges, uh, browns, and reds, and not, not, you know, focusing too much on one color. Although if you only have a couple of these colors, that's completely okay as well. You just follow the flow of your paintbrush and I mean the point is to paint and have fun. It doesn't matter if it's not absolutely perfect or if it just doesn't resemble the exact wreath that I'm painting here. You can just use mine more of as more of a guide or you can try to emulate the same thing. I also added some other little details like these little buds uh, that were coming out from the leaves. I just liked the variation that they added and they kind of made the circle look a little bit more complete in the areas where there were more gaps than others. So you can see me adding some particularly at the bottom here and I wish that I had continued with that pattern the whole way through. You can also add uh, any sort of text that you want in the center. If this is a card or if it's just a sketch, um, you can really write whatever. I wrote fall in love because as a play on words, obviously fall, fall, autumn. Uh, and I also took a black marker here and just outlined, very roughly outlined, some of those leaves just to add a different element to the painting. This is completely unnecessary, uh, but I just wanted to add something extra. Finally, I splatted some watercolor paint onto the painting to add another element, and we're all finished! Thank you so much for watching my tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and check out some of my other fall-themed tutorials.